All right. We are live. Welcome. Welcome to a Friday stream. Ah, a nice Friday again. It's the weekend. Um, so, before I start, real, 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 real quick. Um, good to see you. Yeah, you can try. Not a very good shot. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I tried. Uh, <laughs> that be my snake. Uh, didn't think you'd start out the stream with a streamer showing you their snake, huh? <laughs> Not your typical Minecraft stream. <laughs> anyway, so today I'm going to be making another inspiration build, and of course, let's start with well, inspiration. Um, maybe I'll take some from some of these builds we see now. So, who knows? I uh, don't really know what I want to make today exactly. I just I'm gonna just kind of vibe with it. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, I don't really have a, a big huge plan, but I do have a plan. Uh, nice little uh, Mesa looking thing. Time to approve a terraforming. Nice. Uh, Hard to tell what's going on in the actual build for that first one. Interesting little sky warp thing going on at the top. I wonder how they made that actually. Okay, that's what they're showing in that first screenshot. Is that that warp thing better? Cute. <laughs> this thing in the water here. Island summer camp coming. I guess it's just a water buoy thing. Summer camp thing. <laughs> um, overhauls building in Minecraft that I'd like to share with you all. The slum. Best shown in video, YouTuber. Okay. You know what? Nowadays, if you want to see what this is, I will check this out later. Uh, Axiom. Because. Yeah, there's there's some cool stuff I might be uh, releasing pretty soon too. Um, I'm actually gonna mute it and just kind of watch a bit of it while I'm doing. Uh, wow, I really like this. Actually, this looks like a fun thing to explore. Um, okay, I'm gonna need to watch watch that video. I think, actually, but. Feeling I uh, that it it doesn't completely uh, change the game as much as you think it does because I know things. But that's literally all I can say right now. But I'm gonna need to watch more of it and see what I can do because it does look it looks very um, easy to use I guess very intuitive. Not sure how I feel about these trees up here, honestly, but yeah, the ones anyway. I like the rest of them though, the pink ones. Um, sand castle. I guess that's red sand that they're using for the tops. <laughs> um. Very, uh, very, um, Magic of Oxal looking render. Okay. Ooh, I really like that little, uh, stair usage for the, the cactus. Nice. That makes a lot of sense. Um, good texturing going on and stuff, though, too. Um, I will say, kind of weird that the bees don't have any legs. 
like a tree. Usually you can see their legs, so that's fun. A little bit, a little bit of a, just a bee noodle. <laughs> uh, fantastic tree. Bonsai. Um, imagine though if that was actually the scale of a bonsai. Like, bees are like this fucking big. Like, that bonsai would be like this. Like, the whole bonsai would be smaller than like half of my face, or like a quarter of my face, even probably. Which is insane. That would be really cute, honestly, if it was actually at that scale. And alive, even too. Um, ah, a new terrain. Bye, 3 dxu Fantastic. Ah, the terrain guy. <laughs> Doing another terrain. Uh, well, that's fair. Kind of like me doing another tree. Uh, <laughs> what can you expect? I like the use of the sign at the bottom there. Electra, something at the bottom. That really works, honestly, especially kind of like the chains and stuff. And then the candles on top of the um, end rods. That's really well, too. I think you could probably do the same with candles on top of um, lightning rods as well. That would look pretty good. Like, block chandelier. That would look really good. And that that would kind of make it so that it scales itself up onto the candle a little bit better too. A little more naturally, I think. Yeah, obviously it'd have to be a different style altogether, probably. Uh, next. Viking Nordic style going on here. I like it. Oh, dumb back legs. He needs to do leg day. Are gorilla's legs really that skinny? I don't know. I haven't seen a gorilla in a hot minute. Front and the body look really good though. And the texturing's fan. Face also. I mean, the head's probably honestly the hardest part to do, especially from multiple angles. You can tell that's really good. Um, yeah, I just, it's, it's like a little bit too much of a whoop down to that ankle there. They have really big feet, I'm pretty sure. Not feet, but I mean, legs and feet that connect to them. Um, pretty sure we've seen this spaceship before. This is insane. Um, yeah, again, last time I think I said it looked like a lightsaber. This time it looks like a little bit less like one because it kind of tapers down on the front. But still, though, just whatever designer made this spaceship obviously was inspired by, like, the inside of a lightsaber. Like, if you just pulled the guts out of a lightsaber, this is what I imagine it looks like. And that's a spaceship. <laughs> Which is insane. Um, but yeah, this is really dope. This is awesome. Uh Give it a retweet as well. This. Hmm. Okay. That looks like parkour, but also just like different variations of like trees and stuff. Um. Only up Avalesco. Interesting. That would be a really interesting like parkour map, I feel. This this definitely feels like a parkour map. A lot of different variety of trees going on here. Yeah, like this one in the background, it's like pine trees, but like not pine tree. Mismash some different trees together. All right. Um, I'm actually more intrigued by this like outer ravines of this building. That's like really unique, actually. It's really not not something you see a lot, actually. Just something like that. The tree is really nice too. <laughs> I will say though that the roots are black and they'll just kind of ends. Um, but part I mean. Okay, they redid their reposted their same thing again, except this time it's a Twitter post. Uh, so in theory, we could do one of these and kind of. That looks like a soccer ball up there. A lot of weird. So it looks like Pokemon balls. Up over here in this part or something. A lot of wild stuff. Actually, now that I'm looking at those look like golden apples and like floating uh, 
and to be to be um events. Well, Um, not sure why this one's just doing a loading and they must have deleted it. Yeah. Honestly, that's really cool. I like this bottom part the most. That really leads into the, the fun part. I think a lot more terrain like that, just that consistently around stuff would look really cool. That is a dope castle. Looks like a nightmare to get to the top tower, honestly, and to navigate your way there. But it looks dope. Uh, all right. Uh, very like Mad Max if it was directed by uh, Marvel. <laughs> Saturate it! Saturate it more! Give it more color! <laughs> That's exactly uh, the Marvel and sort of superhero thing to do right now, I guess. Just color the shit out of it. Possibly make it look grounded in reality a little bit. You know, saturated. This is a really cool looking train. Is this it's not 3DXU? I guess not. It's looking like it's inspired by it. Ah, them sails. That's dope. Rainbow sails going on. Like a pride ship. A flying f freighter. Alright. Huh. Fantastic. Oh, they got a cute little, uh on the thing. I don't know why that one's showing the preview here, but not over here. Like, click on it. Got it. Alright. That's some nice little train lumps going on right there. I have seen this before. It's vaguely familiar. I might not have, but it looks similar to something else. Uh, that's a neat little logo there, like a happy and yang thing going on. Like they put their, their logo on the, the build too. Nice. Oh, we got three different ones from the same person. The yin yang going on here. Puppy builds. Okay, wait. Build by... Uh, this... PR, I guess? Or... I'm going to pretend like I said that right. <laughs> uh, okay, Tofi and then AMD TR. So it seems like AMD TR is... Oh, no, this is three completely different people. Uh, but it's still got that logo. It must be, that must be the team. Yeah. But this one... Also three different people. Got quite the team going on there. Those are definitely uh, H2CO3 trees. You can. <laughs> hey, Aztec, how's it going? Um, I think we'll look through a couple more rows here, and then we'll get on stuff. Why do people keep posting stuff twice? What is what is this? Stop it! Once that's all we. Need. Especially this soon. I can understand like maybe if you posted this same one like I don't know after. All of these, like, year-ish, then I might have forgot about it, but, like, that that's too soon. It's too soon. Uh, okay, anyway. <laughs> Not a lot of variation in height. Hold on. Uh, all right, let's look at this build that got reposted. I really like that tree's back. see it from more angles honestly and see if it's just like a 2d tree um cute little lighthouse though sure spooky castle is not seemingly there so we're just gonna ignore that it's a cute little build i kind of don't mind the pixel art in the background because it looks like they put a little bit of effort putting like a shoot star with the same kind of textures and stuff that's nice 
Um, and I mean, yeah, they even put a little effort. Why not just make that shit in the background? Did you have, maybe they only had like a plot to build this in, but like, you know, weird that most of the people can't do that. Um, or just don't, I guess. All right, like this one's massive and definitely just far in the background. Um, the chains as green or whatever is going on there. That's interesting. Looks good from a distance, but then when you start to notice their chains, like up close, it kind of looks, I will say. Obviously not meant to be a uh, bird. What a cute little bird. Is this from something? This looks like it's from something. You want some coffee? I feel like, I feel like I've seen this bird on something before. Guess what? The Microsoft Store replied to them. How fantastic. How cute. All right. I think, uh, yeah, we'll end it there because the stupid re double post is easy to remember anyway. <laughs> Walked by a cool tree today. Did you take a picture for me? No. <laughs> but no, seriously, did you take a picture? <laughs> uh, that let me um oh right uh check this out by the way i i haven't actually watched this video but please tell me um what this does as tech because i just saw this on um, my little escapade of looking at other people's stuff on uh builders refuge here um the link in the the chat if you want it um i'm not sure how much that concept has been explored but that tree essentially didn't have main stem instead around a dozen medium to small thick stem branches into even more thin ones finally okay so you're talking about do i have yeah okay so let me let me find the tree that i no 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 no, no. i don't have it here um The theme tree. Do I have Lush Homes Dream No Skin Brush? Um Damn it. And one of my other trees I have sort of that concept, but on a smaller scale. Definitely not big. Um I forget what that tree is. It's like a swamp tree essentially. Um Yeah, I tried doing that once on a stream a long, long while back. I think. Um, anyway, yeah, last time I made some uh, wind blowed trees. Where, the... where, where did they go? Let me turn on the thing. Yeah, this is what we made last time. Obviously, the shaders uh, belong to it with the clouds and stuff, but we don't want that on right now. Um, me, I really need to find those trees now. But yeah, I, I definitely uh, recommend checking out that tutorial or this or whatever this is. Haven't seen anything about it until literally just today, so just uh, throwing that out there, by the way. I will definitely, definitely be checking it out after the stream today. Um, yeah. Okay, so um yeah last time we made some windblown trees and we left these sponge so that we could replace them later and stuff um so today got to find some inspiration um i haven't quite found what i'm looking for i still have it then yeah so uh, <laughs> i have to grab that one um <laughs> uh, uh i need to get artist station Okay. So I did see this. Uh, I really like that. I really like these going on here. That's the most insane part. Top of the tree is pretty generic looking, honestly. Um, it's hard to make both the top and the bottom look really ma amazing. Um, I'm aware of Axiom. They are making a client-side mod with a full-on 
UI with bio, uh, bio, uh, bleh, 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 bleh. I really, my brain really wanted to say BIOS, just something other than buttons. <laughs> UI with buttons, sliders, etc. Not as capable as set of world edit Arceon plus meta, but way more like actual editing. Oh. Hi, buddy, friend, don't jump on me. He's not, he's definitely not like a dangerous looking spider as far as I can tell, but I mean, he's not a black widow or a brown lacrus or whatever. So, hey, kill all the other bugs in here and you can stay for free. Okay, as long as I don't see another fucking mosquito, you live. Deal? That sounds like a fucking good rent on me, you know? I rent this place. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, okay. Good to know about Axiom, by the way. Regardless. Um, that's a cute little mushroom house village thing going on here. Um... What? It's like, what, like, the most absurd emotion you can imagine into a burb or something? Oh my god, I love it. Ah, the blue, the boobies. We put a booby. Honestly, though, the first one, frog, and then the second one, a frog. In there, um. Honestly, maybe we just build a frog today. <laughs> I think that's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna put this up here, actually. Um, yeah, we're making a frog. Okay. Um, I think what I wanna do to start things of doing like convex selections and just kind of making a a basic body as it were um you want to go like up to like here oops I keep resetting the it's actually doing it right okay so we go like here here I think that'll be like the body section and then we kind of get into like the neck right or like head area that'll be like sort of we'll see that scale might work um slash slash spike uh let's just use sponge for now um i think we probably start with like like seven no maybe like eight maybe like three Um, honestly, I can kind of work with that. We need to make the head a little bit bigger, but we can do that. Yeah, actually, what we can do is reverse these. So we'll do like six, uh, three, one, it doesn't matter. But we just need this seven. No, why is it not doing it right? Or that should work. Or something. Okay, no. Why isn't that working? 10 3? Uh, could have swore if I reversed the numbers, that would have worked. Um, <laughs> what? Like 19. We had oh okay i'm done this needs to be 
seven or whatever in this. Let's go. Okay, nope, that's too big. Um, okay, now we get somewhere. Okay, probably gonna have to do quite a bit of just peeling with our hand and that stuff. Not quite looking exactly how I wanted to, but all right. So I'm just gonna try doing it a little bit like this, and we'll do. Uh, a little bit of a big chunk here. Um. Hero. Out. Better. Bring the butt out, man. We need that big butt frog going. All right. Um, it's gonna be really hard to make this head look really good. Challenge on the scale. Um, I think we're getting close to the shape I'm looking for in check. Oops. Three or four there. Okay. Ah, keep clicking with the stick feather. Um. Now be smooth this just so it's not so gross looking. Helps a little bit. Um what do legs of a frog look like? Um disgusting? Uh, what is funny? <laughs> not me. Uh slime? What 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 are you looking for with that? <laughs> You just literally want to know. Um, like that. Um, the legs just kind of lumps on the side, honestly. Pretty close. <laughs> they actually look like already. Um, funny enough. Um, but yeah, this side and that side, we're going to need to kind of do a little bit of probably hand stuff. Um, and then... This is the part I'm curious if I will be able to do like a spike that's the arm, you know? You just kind of going like that. Yeah. You just, you just, no, it's not quite that far out. He's more like here, here. Oh, wrong buttons. Yeah. Fly slower. Here, here. Actually, no, the elbow needs to be closer. So, like here, and here. I guess we'll do it before we get to the hand. So, like right there, and then the fingers will just come. That's good. Then we can maybe do spike. Uh, let's do a different block just so I screw it up not too much anyway. Do uh, I'm just gonna have to do a little bit of hand trimming down. I'm gonna do the same thing for the other arm here. So like from here we go here and then down to here. Oh, that's okay. We'll just um 
the elbow. Yeah, that. Okay. That'll do for now. We could probably do to make it like a little bigger and stuff and blend it in, but we'll get there. Um, what I want to focus on now is the head, because this is going to be the hardest part. Um, and I'm literally just going to kind of do something by hand. That's pretty much the only way it's going to work. Um, I go up and around to kind of get its face shape here and then get the and I'm making this yes at a very very weird angle so this might take a little bit more than I kind of wanted flying in and out and looking up. good shape um what I want to do no, actually, before I get any further, it's just kind of make some makeshift eyeballs. They don't need to be anything crazy. Actually, we can just use black concrete or pool or something for now. Um, just so I have an outline of what an eyeball will be on. So, this eyeball is fucking massive. Um, yeah, so, like, this, this right eyeball is just... Oh boy. I mean, both of them are massive, but... Really want I really want this one to be the bigger one anyway, because that'll kind of get across the emotion, hopefully. Even if you flying around it. Uh, need to be I want to look at it from sort of here. As long as this is where I need it to be. We're doing okay. So. Push out this face a little bit more. up with it as well i think uh could potentially just kind of place around blocks and stuff but um yeah, frogs are fucking weird creatures though honestly uh Cartoon Frog got a little bit more eyeball than it probably would normally, I think. Uh, what I want to do is kind of try to out a little bit here, maybe. Of course, we definitely want to put a backing to the eyeball. and a little bit on the back I do want to be able to like post this and have it you know get a little bit okay so what I want to do is sort of get a mouth going so this part looks like it. um he's wearing sunglasses very funny. Just start to get a bit of a frog shape looks like you know trash on the head right now but that's that's okay we'll get there I promise um So, we need the upper look sort of thing going on here with this head. Or to do. Um, we need sort of a flat chunk right here. Goes up a little higher into its Kind of make the eyeball pretend to be going up higher. we're getting somewhere but surely um i'm actually um all right we'll use a different black for the mouth real quick for now uh just so i have sort of an outline boom 
Um, a little bit of a fly around. That's very funny looking. All right, yeah, we need a little bit more thickness on the back here. That's for sure. Um, oh, that's so bad. Um, okay, but we're getting somewhere. That's what I need to see. Okay. Um, definitely need to do some. some Let's get back to box work. Uh, Thicken all of this. More eyeball. Okay. That's more like what or do you want to do is make a little bit of some have that only got three fingers in the thing so I think we'll just stick to that um, this is well. um So, boom, boom, boom. This one, I go boom, boom. And. That is it. Okay. Now we fix the eyeballs to make them look like eyeballs and not whatever the left is. Huh. Probably get rid of a bit of the bottom of that one. Found. On top. It. somewhere probably not but all right um do we need the eyeball to be looking sort of that way hopefully we can make both of them do that probably gonna be one of the hardest parts eyeballs looking like they're at you from over here instead of that out a little bit okay now let me add in another mouth again Let's see if it looks um but i think this time we're gonna try to do it a little bit better um i could do basically we're just gonna kind of carve it out first a little bit the 
see if that um try to put this one. Oh. probably look like garbage but honestly that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be not exactly what I'm looking for but uh this last one definitely needs to go like down here need to make the like put a frog feet coming out of here you know um nope that's way probably ready here Yeah. Oh yeah, that 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 adds so much. Just adding the little feet in, though, for real. How wild! Um. Still looks like he's wearing sunglasses, which is very funny to me. <laughs> Don't know why. Um. I did make a meme with an old frog ever time ago. Okay. This is very funny. Um I definitely still need to shape this guy's body better. It's just not having enough. It needs some more meat. Though toads are very flat on the back, I think he's gonna look a little better if he's got a little more something going on there. A little, a little fat frog, you know? A little, a little bit of fat. It's such a hard angle to make, though, honestly. Uh, I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I think we need to make his belly a little a little fatter too. Oops. Um I think I could just I already have GMAS uh zero and nineteen as a thing, which would be preventing it from doing anything with the lapis, but it's not, so we're just over by him. No harm in that, honestly. Layer right here. Um, could spread his arms out a little bit more, I think. Probably what he's doing. Probably not that hard, just kind of do Kind of get rid of the, the arms from the... Start to bend. There. Not sure if I want to try to keep the feet and just like move them out, maybe. Maybe try doing that. Let's see if it works. So we go like this first. Boom. Move. Minus M22. 
or oh undo mask okay oh what undo why didn't that what okay uh copy minus m 22 Zero. Pizza repeats. Uh, we'll just do it the freaking other way. Alright. Um, and then maybe move this one. Maybe move this a more. Um, I mean I guess actually other way around. This one we should move. Oh, timing. Thanks. I move it out like three that way. Maybe even more. Maybe like four or five. Strike five. Um. Do. Move the back one. Yeah. Okay. Let me go. Boom. Gonna do this by hand because it's probably easier to do it by hand. And box here. Elbow again, still. Pack. Um. A little bit thicker of an arm, just the the frogness of it. Um, um, um elbow, picking this bad boy up. Too sharp on the edges there. <laughs> All right, starting to get some arms. I think those arms are definitely looking a little better. Uh, this one's going a little awkward. Under it, maybe. A little bit on the outside right here. That perfect. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Finally, we're getting a little bit more of what we're looking for. Honestly, this looks a little too sad still. I think, I think this one might... Maybe we could do, like, a combo. It's just, it's just better like that. Just the... Maybe do, like, a... We go up, we can like that instead. Um, don't really want to do too Okay, we need to get the eyes right, I think. That's it's gonna be the hardest part here. Okay. So I wanna make this kinda do this, and I want it to pop out a little bit. But what I need it to do is have sort of an iris right here that kinda looks that way. Um okay. so first of all um eyes are different. So let me just select the whole thing actually. Okay, so replace uh, 251. Um, 
we can just do like something orangish. Honestly, strip jungle wood might look okay. Um, more yellow. Try like bamboo in there. Honestly, that's probably gonna work, and then we can kind of make it more white in the inside part. Um, try. We'll try bamboo. Uh, what was it again? Planks. Okay, replace two, five, one, fifteen. Bamboo. Planks. Then we can give it some black. See what we're doing here. Okay. Um. Max on it. Inset. We can do. Uh, I guess. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to make it look like. I think I do. Here too. Definitely looks like it's looking that way because of that. So we can maybe do like glass in here. Round it. Do maybe um yellow or black panes in there or something and kind of mm. no. if I were to do that, it would have to be like on the inside part, and that wouldn't really make. Eyeballs are going to definitely be the hardest part of this. Um, don't love the left hand. Honestly, that is kind of what it looks like. I think we need to make the right hand bigger. Honestly, it's going to match more with it. Like, everything. Might like. A little bit bigger there, and then a lot bigger over here on this one. compared to that part as well as over here um yeah all right much better picking this bad boy up give him some meat <laughs> um looks weird right now but i think it'll probably blend okay um Maybe we can do a little bit more blending just to confirm that. Side just a smidge more. Okay. I think we're we're getting somewhere here. Um, the face is obviously the hardest part here, so maybe a little more work on organicking it out, as it were. Um, I want to make and see if it'll look okay if I try to do something like this, like a smooth line instead of a checkered sort of line there. Honestly, yeah, kind of works. Um, up until like this part, we can maybe do like, or we might have to do something to make it look like it's coming to a point more. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that 
that's starting to look okay from most angles here. Back parts are kind of looking like out of ears or some other animal ears instead of eyeballs. Weird. Think about it. Your frog's ears are like weird place. Um, we could probably go up to here with this and then we can put some nostrils sort of right in this area here. Maybe we can kind of slab it a little bit. Don't know if I want to use stairs and slabs, honestly, but I think at this scale we might need. Um, do a little bit more up. Down legs and stuff here. Push them out together and apart and stuff. I think we should probably give them a little bit more of like a tail thing going on. I think they have that. I think they got like a little bump in their back. Tadpoles have the tails and they don't ever really lose their bump. Okay. Um, let's do boom. So we need to replace 22, comma, 251, comma, uh, I guess three with all sponge for now. Just to see what he actually is looking like all together here. Um, I actually blend this a little bit more. Proper. Whoops. Yeah. We get in somewhere. Slowly. Surely. As always. Um it's back do be kind of thin. Yeah. You're not wrong, but I I mean actually I'm pretty sure frogs genuinely are not thick creatures. Like when we look at wanna see like a generic frog picture girls let's do some googling images yeah look how skinny that motherfucker is toads though fucking toads them motherfuckers got backs them boys be thick uh i guess this guy got kind of a on his back i don't know it i guess it, it depends like i mean obviously yeah this guy oh and this guy he got this guy got a little bump on his back, I guess. This guy's kind of more what the frog is, though, for sure. I think. Uh, kind of. Yeah. I think I think that's what they were going for. Um. I guess that or that maybe. Either way. Um. Yeah, you're both right, and not. I guess. <laughs> Frogs are fun. Um. Uh, Yeah, I think I think we'll give him a little bit more of a back then, but not too too much because honestly, they don't. They're not like hunchbacks, you know, but they do have that weird kind of like you know, spine chunk right here, really up here. A lot of that. Um, I think we could kind of go away with doing. And we'll kind of continue that a little bit down more. Booty part. Yeah. Yeah. I think that works. Um. I mean, we do want him to look thick anyway. So I think, I think. <laughs> want a fat boy. Fat boy. Why he's sitting weird. <laughs> Frogs don't normally sit like this either. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to try to do the same with this. 
last section behind it. We can maybe get rid of a bit of the material of his face here to kind of... Not sure how much I really want to get rid of, though. Either way, we got to inset his eyeball chunk here. Um, black things. Uh, put that in there. This stuff. Um. Just kind of want to see what it looks like if we change yellow to orange. Oh. isn't it we're gonna have to get rid of like that maybe kind of thing oops flying too fast again a little faster around him and just kind of the things that we fucked up this little bit here and there i like that guy actually uh Yeah, I think we got a little bone going on there. <laughs> the hip bones or whatever. Frog jumping bones. Okay. Um, let's change his color. <laughs> so it's not yellow anymore. Um, and I wish I had some, some things I don't have right now. <laughs> Guess you know what I'm talking about, Estac. Um, Alright, replace 19 with, uh, well, just do for now. Wow. Green boy. Oh, the green boy. Um. Honestly, though, just that alone, just making him just that green makes him look ten times better. Uh, I think we could probably, like, work out from here. We could just do other greens. I think before I texture... We'll do a quick little uh, BRB though. Be right back.
Take her back. So, um, yeah, we gotta get some greens uh, before we do anything else. Uh, I really wish there was a full-sided version of this. That would be really nice, actually. Um, let's go to Yapuro. We already have wool, obviously. Um, these are good green. That's a little darker than the Maybe utilize that. Um, oops. Go. Uh, I think that can go like that. Obviously, lime green. Concrete kind of hair. Concrete powder. A little lighter. Good. Um, moss. That can be a little, not really that light, actually. There. Uh, okay, we'll place the first few anyway. Um, just we have them. Um, whoops. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um,. This one seems lighter. Probably put that like that. The end. Okay. Other greens. Um. Green. That's probably better than the lime green. Much these put in there. Terracotta. No. Leaves, but don't really want to use leaves because those are see through. Um, same with slime. We could maybe use melons, but I kind of don't want to use that for the same reason. Can't do. You know, orientation. Uh, all right. I guess that's gonna do it for now. Okay. Okay. Um, let me change him to green terracotta instead. Place. What is the? Yeah. Place green, green terracotta. Go. Okay. And then we'll kind of go from there, essentially. So, D-Mask, green, Rakata, and then here, Terracotta, comma, this is the other one, green concrete. We can just kind of go in and we'll do sort of this half of M. And then we add into something else and whatnot. And how's it? Okay. Um. a little and then really honestly probably don't want that much green. uh we definitely need to get all of his feet because those will be changed let me g mask this other block here um And for 
Add it to the body and such. Eyeballs nice and good, and his head nice and good. What we have left is probably a good. Okay. And then, yeah, that's clean. Concrete, ER, spear, what is that? Green concrete and green. So let's just do a little bit of the belly part here. Uh, okay. And then do a little bit of highlight up here. Head me. Oh, that I missed here. down into the feet. That's good. Okay, maybe a little bit off the back here. Part, this part. Well, next one. Uh, 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 yeah, we'll definitely do moss because that should be kind of shut. Um, I tempted to skip all the way to lime. These two. Might be worth doing, actually. Yeah, we're gonna skip moss. We're gonna do concrete powder instead. So, G mask, green, uh, VR, cool, VR sphere, uh, green, comma, um, powder this time. Center here. Little bit of highlight in here. Um oh crap. Uh let me do mass three. What? Not letting me tab that for a second. Okay. Um we are here. Concrete, comma, um, powder. Okay, and then we just kind of need to do the. Feet are going to be a part of also the lightest part of the sky. Okay. Um,. Love how much dark we have, honestly. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this one again. That's that one. Green terracotta, concrete. I think is hot. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of a good chunk, especially on the top part. Yeah, that makes no sense. There, let's get rid of that. There. That makes kind of sense right there, so we'll leave that. Just a couple of highlights of the park, you know? But pretty decent. Okay. Not looking too bad. Um Okay. So now go back to the other one. Mask green and this because oh, why didn't that work? You mask green, green comma green comma green. There we go. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work the first time I typed it. 
a little bit of highlight around the top part. We already did the feet. And now, um, the either this or the other one looks okay. Um, we could maybe do randomly rotated ones that might look better. Um, block of hands. Uh, bamboo block. Okay, so we need a G mask, green, concrete powder, VR sphere, green, concrete powder, comma. Okay, uh, I'm actually gonna do this on the other side so I can. So we're gonna do uh, bamboo block bracket access equals x this comma and then we actually we can the comma part boom copy paste and then we change this to a z again change x i don't know why i mean okay so that should be all of them Random in there. Ooh. I just need like one or two. I click. There. Highlight it a little. I like the stomach. That kind of worked. Oh. Don't love it on the face part there. So. Oh. We might have to just leave the head alone. Or do a lot more. I don't know. A bunch of two. Uh. Not horrible, honestly, weirdly enough. If I just put enough. <laughs> I don't love it, though, you know? Oh my god, how many is it? Jesus. Go. Okay. Yeah, I think it's better without. Just the stomach part needs it. And then we maybe could do like a little bit on the toes here and there. Click on each toe. Really? Why, didn't, why can't you do the one block I want you to do it? There it is. Yeah, definitely looks good on the feet and that. Uh, the face. Face ain't it. Um, honestly? It turned out a little better than I thought it would. <laughs> um, let me give this guy a little background or something here. Um, let me... Actually, ooh, I got an idea. I want to try something. I got time. Um, where's Photoshop? Oh, what? I don't have Photoshop on here anymore. Do it. it. Why didn't it? When I when I typed in PHOTO and hit enter last time, why didn't it bring up the fucking app before searching it on Google? Thank you for nothing, Microsoft. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, I want to make a new one. Um, hold on. Hey, create it. Okay. Um, and all we're gonna do is just make like a little gradient or something. Um, I'm gonna try to do. Start with oh wait, gradient tool, not this. Uh, this. Start with. A nice blue. Okay. Another one that is a green. Another one closer to green. <laughs> And then 
Ugh, damn it. Dang the wrong, okay. Maybe like two more because we need to get kind of get to a darker green here. Go like that, and then we'll just kind of go down in the thing one more time. Um, here to put there. Uh, need to now, we can kind of adjust this to bring these either closer or further apart. I think I kind of want to bring this green out and add another green here. Transition from a darker, even darker. Yeah, okay. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Now, uh, there we go. Need the regular gradient, not the circle one. Bam. Perfect. Literally exactly what I was looking for. So, uh, I'm just going to save that. All right. A quick. Um, yes, I would love to save it on my computer. Stop fucking telling me what to do. Just let me do it without bringing up another window what I wanted to do that's what I wanted to do get the fuck over yourself Photoshop and Adobe um so annoying did you really want to save it on your fucking computer are you sure why you don't trust your services that much I know crazy um I have actually had I have many complaints about things. Adobe Photoshop are only very specific. <laughs> For the most part, they're actually not. Um, very much wish they didn't have. Um, okay. Let's go ground Fine. gradient. Um just put it in streaming for now. Okay. Another one. That is E. Same place. Okay. Now we put this to the side. Holy shit. Like lag right now. Oh, it does not like me dragging Photoshop around. <laughs> and damn. Okay, that's nope, that's not the corner I put that in. What come on? Oh god. Ah shit. Jesus Christ. Computer did not like that. Holy shit. Okay, just put it right here. Thank you. Wow. Woo! Okay. <laughs> now uh, let me see if I find what i'm looking for all right okay, yeah it's right crappy up here browse um yeah i might need to put it um because i have most stuff in my icloud drive i have no idea how to get to my icloud drive from it's set up right here because it's technically a internet connected folder, I guess. I don't know if you can, but weird. Uh, anyway. Regardless. What did I call that again? Round to yeah gradient. All right, copy that here for now. Okay, cancel browse. There you are. Open. Okay. Um, let me see what blocks we have turned on. It should be. Uh, let's turn on all of the wool. Uh, we have all of those on except for the blaze ones, which is good. We have all those on. I tempted to turn on like diamond and stuff because that would background three here 
Turn on diamond and end roll because those will be. I think other than that, we don't need much. Don't need melons or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's see. So let's do. Um, yeah, we'll try a max height of one twenty and just see what that looks like. Okay, that's not enough. Let's see, like two hundred. Okay, we're getting a little less noisy. Let's do um, 100 by 200. Okay, so that's making it less noisy. That's good. What? Let's do 50. Nope. That, what? Do mail max height. Um, go from here. So 200 on the width. Okay. This down, it brings everything down. So, like 170. Okay. okay. Somewhere between there. 50. Okay. 150. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna be some point in here where it's just like not noise it's sort of only five halfway in between all right let's go up one from there six seven eight okay so between seven and eight is literally just noise that's fun okay so let's do 167 and then turn this on and do 200 again. Okay. Um, that's 400. Nope, not making any difference. Uh, let's go back down. Go do less. Nope. Um, not making the gradient. I'm really hoping it would. Uh, probably need more colors in there than allowing me to do. Let's do no and just see what it looks like. Go big. Um, might be able to do like a whole Minecraft height, like 300. Holy balls. I mean, it doesn't look noisy when you zoom out, but then it also does artifacting and stuff. It's weird. Um, okay, so the max height 319. No, let's do 300. That looks like okay, still pretty freaking noisy. Uh, 270. Hmm. Yeah, not gonna, not gonna cut it as I was hoping. Um, I think we could probably just stick with this one. That is, eh, it's not really worth it, is it? I think I think we gotta just go big, go home. To like two fifty three. All right, we'll just vibe with something for now. Um. We'll call it gradient test for now because I don't wanna... Um, I'd say that is a... Nope, I did not. Of course I didn't. Cave schematic, not that. Save, okay. This one really quick, so get to do that, okay. Throw that in here and see what it looks like. Right. Download. Yes. Leave. Thank you. Leave. Use file. 
desktop to open. Let's just see which way it's pasting first. So I Well, do I have a G mask on or something? I might. I might have a G mask on. That... Either way, I'm gonna have to rotate it or rotate the frog or something. So... <laughs> um, certainly in a situation where doing it by hand would look better, but it's also a skill to affect. But yeah. I mean, there is a way to make this look good. I, like, I could, I could spend the time here and just sit here, you know, going through, like, not only can I manipulate that, but I could, I could go through and start getting rid of blocks that I absolutely doesn't, don't want it to try and stuff. And like, obviously making a little more complex of a gradient would probably help too, like just more nodes for more colors, essentially for it to, to choose from. But yeah, I mean, this is like, the simplest colored kind of thing and it's almost too simple i guess is kind of what i'm getting at like for most complex pictures like let me just let's just see um sky to ground gradient i don't i don't know if this is like a thing or something like or an image of so i can like okay, like here this has a lot more colors. Um, hurts this from. Do I need to care about giving credit? Nope. Okay, so what I want to show you is just trying to do. Okay. So let's just grab this. I know it's shutter shock or whatever. Um, okay. Browse. Uh, is it not going to let me do that one? Yeah, it's a web view. That's stupid. Watch. watch. You want to know how you turn a web P into not a web P? You just do this. It's called screenshot. Woo! Magic! It's stupid. Everyone wants to drag something onto their screen and have it save as a web P. That's the first thing I want to save something as. Thanks, Google. Okay. Now that we have the actual proper shit, uh, let's see if this one makes like a better one. It's sort of the same colors. Just it's a more complex gradient is the point here. They all. Um. Same. Let's do the other one. Or no. Yeah. No. We want. We want. Or no. Yeah. 167 was the one that looked okay-ish. Bam! Honestly, pretty good. Honestly, way better than one I made. And let's see what the other option would be. Okay, way noisy still, but yeah. I mean, there are, yeah, infinite number of options is basically all I'm saying, and that you could eventually get to where you would know what it's gonna do, I guess. Um, and it would be a nice sort of shortcut. Um, but not have to do it by hand. Or rather do it in like Photoshop or something just a lot easier, honestly, because as great as like, you know, painting brushes are in Minecraft, they're not Photoshop or any other painting thing that you could use, honestly. Hmm. Like there's no uh, pressure sensitive paint brush, I guess. That's <laughs> what I'm kind of, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually not, not too, uh, disappointed with our, our froggy boy here. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me go here really quick. I just want to see what this looks like, because it's very funny. Uh, let me grab this. We're gonna put this in his eyeball and see what it looks like. <laughs> uh oh him some like spatial ethereal eyeballs going on here um might see it. Yeah, I don't 
G mask on. Nope, that one didn't work. Paste it. Do it. Do it. Do it now. Okay, fine. I'll just do this. Uh, okay, and then we'll just go. Yeah, jeez. Let me paste shit. Okay, and now we can just go one, two, copy. I love it. Hey, there we go. Nope, nope, never mind. Dude. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, all right, let's see what it looks like. It's gonna be dumb as hell. Um, I mean, you kind of, you kind of can't tell from far away. So you get like, maybe like here and then you're moving. You really can't tell. Uh, does give it a nice, like weirdly ethereal kind of thing going on though. Especially if you zoom in. Oh man. Ooh, you know, you know what that reminds me of? Freaking, uh. Uh, oh my god, I forget his name. The the Hypno Toad. There we go. He's the fucking Hypno Toad. Hell yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, you get way more colors of layer stained glass. That is also very very true. I did not see that. Sorry. Um, I mean in theory though, what that one that I was doing before the this one, that with just putting in like. A little extra work of replacing above with a color of stained glass um you know i'm gonna save this schematic might as well uh, gradient down score one okay uh i still don't know why i didn't paste that other schematic from the other one will paste now download yes delete it file one gradient that copy ploppity paste minus a okay there we go that one pasted okay so yeah i think i think we could do this um let me put it further out here so we're not in the way of shit um okay, okay. so what i want to do boom actually yeah we want to keep a little bit of space around it and I can just go replace around instead of you know, some weird. So we just do G mask zero. Uh, so replace round light. Nope, bracket light gray terracotta with um. Let's do probably magenta glass. No, magenta. <laughs> and then we could do around these two with two different kinds of gray glass so it'll do dark for this one and light for that one um so place around um light gray with light gray uh stained glass yep and then light gray Powder. Nope. Oh, whoops. Dark light. Just regular. Um. How do you determine when it becomes dark gray instead of just black? <laughs> gray is such a stupid color. Just like uh, light gray, dark gray. And but like obviously like any other color it's like there's a thousand fucking shades of it. Sorry, there's only fifty. Um <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, we're gonna put orange around yellow. Yellow around the other yellow. 
Ricotta with glass. Yeah, yeah. And then we'll put pink around this. We'll put more gray around that one. I think is this. Yeah, we'll just put regular gray around that again. Uh, place around, what is this? Regular terracotta? No, white. It's around white terracotta with glass. Okay, this one obviously needs white. This one, oh, I think we'll do we'll do gray and then dark gray there. That'll be better. So we'll do white concrete. Okay. Or wait, yeah. So white gray. Uh, get rid of the powder. This is clay, right? Clay. We'll do. Regular gray again. These two or three, we can just, yeah, do the uh, blues for sure. I think, obviously, light blue, uh, cyan, and then just blue, blue. Or place around diamond block with light blue stained glass and then uh replace oh wait is this this is light blue place around light blue with uh cyan stained glass All right, um, you know, it might look really cool. Just wanna try, oh, whoops, I forgot about this one. Well, um, I don't know why I need to read, why I reselected it anyway. Uh, place around yellow, concrete powder with yellow, of course. Around yellow. Powder with Oh, I didn't even see the orange there. We can do... Um, I'll do red, honestly. Might look okay. Um, oops. Orange with red. Yeah. Yeah, it'll work. Okay. Um, but what I want to do, just kind of look at. Uh, oh. Uh, let's go ahead and make stack that way, just in case it doesn't look good. And then we just go um, move everything. Or um, hmm. You can't. Damn it. Yeah, there is no stained glass. God damn it, I hate this. Sometimes. Um, okay, so all I want to do is just shift up the middle part, or shift down the middle part, so I can just do this instead. Boom. And boom. And we just go. Did. Do it. Do it. Didn't do it. Uh, taking its time. I don't know what's happening. 
Um, oh shit, I've not been reading chat. My bad, Ed. Um... They put gray on pink and put pink on gray, etc. for better blending. Okay. You're saying not not to do the same colors on the same colors. I just I just wanna sort of though. Um but yeah, alright. Um I see what you're saying. Um in case you're wondering these are the oh, don't anymore. Holy balls. Back. You can zoom out. There you go. That's what, uh, that's back sent me if you guys are curious. Um, essentially saying to put these kind of blocks above, or these kind of glass above these kinds of colors. Kind of actually give them more funness. No. Do, because that should they actually look like. Um. Hmm. Okay. What was the what was the rule again? Put gray on pink, pink on gray, etc. Okay. Kind of just opposites apply, is that what you're saying? Um Okay. G mask. <laughs> Color theory. Ah, beautiful. Um Did work? Yeah, it worked. Um, and it's definitely not. Maybe like two or three even. Maybe we could do like if it like forty-five that way, a couple of blocks. If we do two above that way, that thing does it work on that forty-five? I don't know. I haven't tried to move something up like that, honestly. Honestly, shifting it should kind of do what you're talking about, except just smaller areas. Does that make sense? Did that do it? It did do it. it didn't make sense. Um, yeah, I just shifted it that way. Okay. Um, two. A. I don't know why minus A didn't work in that sense. Um, did it? Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, if it was two minus A, if it was two minus A. So that's kind of what I was trying to get there. Honestly, maybe even more than two or three. Even like, like four or so? Just like maybe like three up, four right or something. I'm really liking this blending. So, uh, let's go move, yeah, three up, and then four. Don't see what that looks like. I really like that part up there. Um, honestly, though, I kind of like that. I'll take it. Um... Might look a little like blurry at points, but like at the same time, staring at it still. Like that. Um, yeah, especially because it kind of adds a little more to this kind of chunks here. Okay. That's that's essentially putting in your, your theory into practice there. Um, so let's just grab this from here to here, copy it, paste it on the ground. Ooh, ooh wait, can I? <laughs> that um, that curving command doesn't work with more than one layer, right? So like, I would have to, in theory, curve every single layer, or not every single, but both layers, I guess, right? Okay. 
Happy. make a little like weird ground for him too huh um there is one way that works with multiple layers not sure if i put it oh, fair. No, no, no. <laughs> i don't i don't know if i actually want to do it i just wanted to know um honestly curving it is very difficult to do anyway so i'm not sure i want to spend time right now necessarily doing it but Okay, um, I really want to do more for this guy. He deserves more than just this, this weird background. As, as good as the background is for him. Um, by the way, I think we, we just kind of move him up. We can get rid of the need for putting a ground. <laughs> the screenshot kind of, but you know. Uh, but doom. And then it kind of looks like he's standing on the the thing, right? If I just crop it like right, right there. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever built light? Yeah. Uh, kind of. I mean, I've had to like place light in a build to make it. Like, what is the? I have not used light to make things look more realistic or something like that. Like I have not done that to that extreme, but I've had to use the light blocks in different uh, like uh, strengths or whatever in different builds. So that counts. Um, no, yeah, reflection. So like, yeah. You're, you're talking about like making something look like it's basically just shaders or whatever, even though it's not. Uh, and no, I have not not gone to that uh, with lighting. So that would be really cool. Um, and I mean, yeah, I have, I've definitely done placing darker blocks where shadow should be. I mean, that's kind of a little bit of what's going on with the frog here, but obviously we're just sh shading and stuff. Uh, or not shading, but coloring. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Hopefully the the little beam stops shooting out of his eyeballs. <laughs> um Alright. Yeah. Our friend. What should his name be? That's the question. Um oh, yeah, the beam. But like, it kind of makes it like funnier and just better because it's like Hypnotoad in, in an even just uh just a better way uh maybe I should have just made Hypnotoad man maybe that's what I'll make tomorrow we're, we're just on a frog binge um for those of you who don't know this is what Hypno, Hypnotoad looks like um a little bit different than what I made and compared to the um the uh OG I lost it. Um there. So there's there's your uh <laughs> actual comparison though between the two. That's very funny. I love this so much. Um honestly didn't do that bad. I think uh considering I had to make it in 3D, I'll take it. Alright, let's get rid of hypnotism. <laughs> yeah. Um, where did Discord go? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, that screen probably look pretty neat. Honestly, yeah. Agree. Um, anyway, yeah, I think, I think we, um, we nailed what we set out to do today. At least I think so, honestly. Um, yeah, we should we should definitely make make some more uh, interesting shit. I don't know if I'll be making a toad tomorrow. It'll definitely be another inspired build for sure. Um, but Hypno Toad does sound like a little bit of fun. But 
I might be restricting myself a little too much there. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, either way, I will be here tomorrow. Same place, same time. So look forward to that. And with that, thank you all for watching. I am sure you know how the buttons work down there by now. So do click them as you please. And yeah. Uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions for our frog friend's name here, do leave them and as a comment or whatever. Do leave your suggestions. I'm happy to hear them because I don't want to name them just yet. I don't. I don't want to see if anybody will actually uh, give them a name. But yeah. Anyway, with that, again, sure you know how the buttons work down there by now. Do a quick mess, please. We do it.